Hello everyone, how are we doing today? Today's video, I'm going to show you how to take the Eco Tank 2800 and turn it into a sublimation printer. So, with that being said, today I am using Cosmos Ink. I've been using his ink for sublimation for the last four years it's been. And I love his ink. Now, I already have a sublimation printer, and my printer, I've been having a lot of trouble with it. So, I decided to invest in a smaller, cheaper one, and turn it into a sublimation printer. So, we are going to use syringes to transfer the ink from the bottles onto the Eagle Tank. Now, I already ordered some Eco Tank bottles, but I don't want to wait. It's going to take to next week. And I already got that machine. And I looked in my craft room and I got four sets of four colors of these that I had bought when I bought uh, Cosmos Ink. And um, so, let me unbox this and we're going to turn it into a sublimation printer. Stay tuned. Okay, so I got it out of the box. It's very lightweight and it includes the disk driving to install. It also comes with the plug and four bottles of the black, magenta, cyan, and yellow ink. Now, first off, do not put this ink in your machine at all. Put it on the side. You can either put it up for sale, save it, and refill your other uh, pigment ink um, printer. But do not put this at all inside your machine. So put this on the side. Secondly, do not plug in your machine until after you fill in your tanks. And that's it. So now I'm going to put you down and we're going to see how we refill this thing. So you want to take all the tape off of the machine. And guys, you have to remember that if you are going to convert your printer into sublimation, you void the warranty. So keep that in mind, okay, guys? If you want to wait till after the warranty is up, definitely do so. Okay, so it's a pretty cute scan. It prints, it scans, and it copies. I mean, you can't get it. You can't get no better than that. And it wasn't that much money. It was only $2.29. I got it on sale. So... Um, you could do the upgrades for the other ones, but I really did not want to spend seven, eight hundred dollars on a printer right now because I'm taking a trip to New York, so I have to save some money to go up there. So, first things first, we are going to put, I want to lay something down under here so I do not get no ink all over the place. So, let me grab a cloth. And we're going to lay that right on top. So I have a bag that I'm just going to use. And I have some gloves. So first things first. Do not plug it in. Do not even attempt to plug it in. Leave it off. And everything. Now you have to make sure that your, you are putting the right color in the right tank okay so first off I'm gonna start with black okay so I want to see Okay, so I'm going to start with my black, and I'm going to put some gloves on. 
because you don't want to get ink all over you. Do not shake your bottles. So now I'm just going to insert my syringe right in. And I'm going to draw some ink all the way up. Okay, so now I'm just going to come over here and we're going to install it. And it's filling up quite easy. And you want to do this until you fill it all, all the way up to the line. And the inks that they give you, they say it's supposed to last two years, which I don't see that. And you want to fill in the tank to the top of the line. Make sure you get no air in your syringe. So if you have to tilt the bottle over, tilt it over. And I think that's to the line. Okay. Now, I don't want to wash my syringe or um, put away my bottles for the simple fact. Once you turn on the machine, it's going to suck up almost half of that ink. So then you can refill it and top it off, okay? So I'm just going to put this on the side. Now we're going to go with the yellow. Okay, after you fill the black, you want to close it up. And then open up your yellow. And we're going to do the same process with the other two colors, okay? You can hear the liquid go in. And sublimation is so fun. So fun! You could sublimate so many items. Oh, I missed one line on the black. Oh, yeah, I missed whole two lines. I'm back to the top. Okay. Now I'm going to put this yellow one on the side. And I'm going to bring back the black. And I'm going to add some more of the black. Because I missed two lines of it. Okay, so now I'm going to do the pink or the magenta. And I used the wrong colors.
and they're really easy to fill up. Much easier than the cartridges, guys. Wow, I should have bought me one of these machines a long time ago. Okay, so I got the magenta filled. So I'm going to move this to the side. I'm going to clean the knob. And now we're going to do the blue. Okay, and the blue is all full. So I'm done filling up all of my cartridges or Eagle Tank. So now I'm just going to clean the tip, make sure nothing's... And I'm going to close that back up. And now we are going to plug this in and it's going to do its reading and it's going to take half of the ink away then you want to refill the ink okay so when that's done i'll come back and show you the rest okay so on the door is letting you know do not go past the last line of ink so right before you hit that last line Refill your ink because it can damage your printer. Okay, so now we are going to turn it on. Press the power button. And the first thing it says is <clears throat> English. Okay. Finish setting up using, okay. So now I need to scan to, so now I'm just gonna scan the barcode on here. And this is just a setup that walks you through. So now I'm just downloading this Epson Smart Panel. And I'm just setting it all up. Make sure your product is turned on. If a USB is connected to the product, disconnect the disconnect it and turn off the product again and on again. Okay, the product is on. Okay, ET28 series, yes. Please wait. Let's get the ink ready. I already did that part. Let's continue. We'll guide you through the step by step. Before we start, make sure to follow the rules. Stay in front of the printer. Do not turn off the printer while setting it up. Sending information to the printer. Okay, so we're sending all the information. This is pretty cool. I could set everything up through my phone. Okay, let's start. Okay, sending information to your printer. Please wait. Now you can prepare the printer. Swipe the screen up and down to check previous and other sets. Let's start with the ink. Then open up the tank, cover it up. Preparing the ink, starting with black. Open up the black mark, da-da. 
up to the last line. Remove the black bottle from the package. Okay, you insert it. I did that. I did that. Close the tank. When you are all done filling your ink tanks, check all of them are lined up on the top upper right. Yes, all the inks are full. Start ink. Initiation. And it's going to go through its process. And we'll see. gonna take about 11 minutes okay so I'll be back okay guys it is complete okay oh wow I did my printer head and it looks good so we are good to go so now the next step is no lines are missing and then it says align print position to fix misalignment and balance. Okay. So now I'm just, it's just checking the small little boxes to make sure which one you choose. I'm going to do my first print and we're going to see how it looks. Okay, so now I'm going to download the driver and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now I already got it initially set up. I got my print driver and the software downloaded onto my onto my computer. Now I'm going to test print to make a sublimation mug being my first project with this printer. So, I just picked um uh image that I had on my computer is of Ariel and she's full of tattoos and I got this on a Facebook group years ago. So I'm going to print this out and we are going to sub on a cup really quick. Okay, so got that on. And then press print. And now it's going to print. Hey, Miss Pisces. What's up? Wow! Look at this baby right here. That came out gorgeous and so vivid. So now I'm going to get a mug and we're going to sublimate this mug real quick. Wow. Let me change the angle. Okay, so I have my heat press. I have my sublimation mug. My heat press, I'm going to turn it on. And I have my microfiber cloth so I could clean my cup with. 
And guys, this image is gorgeous. Look at how bright it came out. Wow. I'm like really, really loving this. I don't think I ever had my ink come out that good. So now I'm just going to bring my cutter in. And we're going to cut down our image. Okay. So there goes my image that I'm going to sublimate on my mug. So now, first things first, let me cut a piece of butcher paper. And I'm only going to cut the size that I need. Okay. So here goes my butcher paper. Now I need my heat tape. I got this heat tape from Amazon. $16. The best sublimation heat tape I've ever had in all the years of me doing sublimation. So, I mean, it cuts the tape for you. It is phenomenal, guys. Okay, so let me clean off my image one more time. And I'm going to put the image on this side. So now I'm just going to line it up. So that looks good right there. So now I'm just going to turn the wheel. And this pre-cuts the tape for me. So I don't have to worry about struggling with the tape dispenser to get it a piece of tape out. Okay. So this is going to be a quick project. And we're going to see how this printer looks for sublimation. Okay, so now I'm going to put my butcher paper on. And I only need half. So I'm just going to fold it in half and pass it right over. And now I'm going to put this in my mug press and we're going to see the final product. And it's just going to beep when it's ready. So it's all done and now I'm going to get my mat. And now we're going to get my glove. Can't find my heat glove. But anyway, we're going to still do this. So it bleeded a lot. <laughs> and wow. It took a lot of the ink out. So this is the original paper. This is the butcher paper. And here goes the image, guys. So it came out super cute. The sublimation paper that I'm using, it is... This sublimation inkjet paper. So, and then of course I use Cosmos sublimation ink. So, guys, if you don't know about this company, definitely hit them up. It's a small company, they're located in Atlanta, Georgia, and I love, love, love to support small, small businesses. So, there goes my project in uh, converting my printer to sublimation 
ink into a sublimation printer and my first project with it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please thumbs it up. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Y'all guys stay safe. Mwah! Smooches!